Welcome to the Dental MBA podcast, focusing on strategies for dental business owners and leaders to grow thriving and profitable practices. This podcast is powered by eAssist Dental Solutions, the nation's leading platform for outsourced dental billing and revenue cycle management services. All guests have been invited to share their insights based on their knowledge and expertise in the business of dentistry. Their opinions and recommendations are their own, and you should consult with your own professional advisors with respect to your own practice. Welcome everyone to another episode of the Dental MBA podcast sponsored by eAssist Dental Solutions. I'm your host, Penny Reed, and it is my privilege and honor to be here today with Dr. Tom Stone. How are you today, Tom? Great. Thank you. Good to be with you, Penny. Uh, Well, great to be with you. Uh, You guys are in for a treat uh, because there's nothing I love more than when an entrepreneur sees a need uh, in their own business. An oral surgeon saw a need in his business and in the industry and out of that need, uh, a great uh, software service platform has been born. So um, if you would, Dr. Tom, uh, Dr. Stone, if you would tell our audience just a little bit about you and then what motivated you to start a software company. Yeah, sure thing. I'm uh, I'm in Denver, Colorado. I went to dental school at the University of North Carolina and then uh, did my medical training and oral and maxillofacial surgery training in Texas at UT Southwestern and uh, Parkland Hospitals. And then my wife's family lived in Colorado, so didn't quite make it back to my home state of California. So we came to Colorado and I started a practice. And I think, you know, we all remember those days when practices were using snail mail and fax machines and voicemail. Ironically, there are still practices that use those, those communication tools. And I, you know, over time I, I had really great fax systems and communication systems, but I just noticed that, you know, everybody in dentistry was working in silos. Communication was uh, essentially broken. So, so those things were not very efficient. Um, But then, you know, you factor in compliance and, you know, I think over time our dental colleagues have improvised using communication tools like email and SMS texting or chat groups. And the problem is there's no business associate agreement with those platforms. Um, Sometimes there's unknown participants in a chat room and and you're sharing patient information. So those are not really secure methods of communication and they're certainly not HIPAA compliant. Um, You know, I would come home at the end of a day or come back to my computer at the end of the day and I'd have emails and SMS messages on my phone. And I realized I was a HIPAA violation waiting to happen. So mm-hmm. I, you know, so it, so those things weren't really compliant. So I think for those two reasons, I, I thought there, there had to be a better way. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. And I, I think when you and I were visiting before, you know, true, true confessions of a former office manager the communications that we got from the specialists, I don't know, especially if you have turnover on the team in the general practice, those letters uh, that were carefully crafted by the specialist teams don't always make it in a timely fashion to the doctor. I do recall filing a bunch of those. I didn't know what I was supposed to do with them, right? So innocently, I put them directly in the chart and didn't give them to the doctor. So uh, I, I think the need to not only be compliant, but not have five or 10 different places where information is or a message that's coming in, uh, you know, to you that isn't with all of the other uh, information from that practice. So, um, so what, what you've shared with us then is how Dr. Talk uh, was born. Uh, Tell us a little bit more about the Dr. Talk app uh, and how it can increase revenue for a dental practice, because this is not only about it being an app, to solve a problem for a specialist. This this is a two-way street uh, of revenue increase. Right. Well, I, you know, several years ago I was having lunch with a very bright colleague and she she said to me, she said, I don't want to have to log into clouds and lose uh communication between our offices just to access, you know, our letters and radiographs. 
And I said, well, what, what would be ideal? And she said, I wish I could just drag, drop, and send radiographs, referrals, documents, all the patient information that we share every day. Mm -hmm. And she says, I wish they could just appear on your desktop computer and your mobile device. And so that's essentially what we've done with Dr. Talk. Um, it just turns out that it's a lot harder than it sounds. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I, and I, I think in dentistry, we keep building websites and we're, we're building, you know, places to log into because mm -hmm. we're kind of running, you know, the old playbook. And I think we have to go where our colleagues work and where they live mm -hmm. and, you know, you know, mobile or native mobility is where our, our colleagues commute. It's where they travel. It's where they buy. And I think now with Dr. Talk, it's where they learn and where they communicate. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, you know, uh, native mobility, people are on mo mobile apps nine to one over web-based uh, systems. Mm -hmm. And so I think we have to kind of go where our current, you know, colleagues live and work. Mm -hmm. But I think, you know, to answer your question about how it increases revenue, um, Dr. Talk has a, a centralized practice dashboard. So when you click or when you drag, drop and send, there's a little toast message that appears on the computer, you know, incoming message from Dr. Stone. And it just allows you to just drag, drop and place it into your EMR. So everything's housed mm -hmm. in one place. And I, mm -hmm. I think of communication and dentistry as kind of like air traffic control. You've got this big practice, you've got all these incoming documents and photographs and communications, and then you've also got outgoing. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, there's the tendency to lose referrals, to lose communication, which slows down the, you know, patient process. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, by the time a practice finds that referral, the patient's gone somewhere else, or maybe they haven't decided to follow through with treatment. Mm -hmm. So Dr. Top captures the patient referral and it gets the patient into the schedule uh, many times before the patient even leaves the dental office. So that's, I think that's one way is just business efficiency. Yeah. Yeah. You well, know, and the, it makes total sense. And and thinking back to coaching days when I would work with specialists and, you know, before this type of technology and you're having a team member in your office, call the other office with the patient standing there saying, you know, Hey, I have, Penny Reed here, and she would like to schedule for an implant, you know, consultation, or, uh, you know, she, we, we're through this next step, and she's ready to make her appointment for her crown, or like what you mentioned, even worse, when the patient doesn't do anything, right, and so you refer them to the specialist, if you're a general dentist, and then you don't even realize, have they done nothing, or maybe they got it all done before their next recare visit, and then you wonder, is it bad that I look surprised that they got it done and I didn't know the work was completed? So really does help close the loop. Go ahead. I, I think I uh, interrupted no. you. No, that's fine. And and I think, you know, in your book, Growing Your Dental Business, you know, a couple of your really important points are case acceptance mm -hmm. and office efficiency. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, those are those are ways that Dr. Talk also drives, drives revenue. I, you know, I, I think with the recent... FBI letter to specialists and to particularly to oral surgeons has increased our awareness of malware, spyware, you know, viruses that can really take down an entire network mm -hmm. uh, just by clicking on a on a link inadvertently. And I think this is a huge threat in dentistry that we, you know, need to all be aware of. That the advantage of Doctor Talk is it's a known network, and mm -hmm. everybody, you know, there's a known sender and a known recipient. Um, so, and then, and I think with uh, the, the ways that I grew my practice early on were communication and education. And, and now Dr. Talk has a channels-based architecture. It's kind of like a Slack for dentistry, mm -hmm. but it's customized to us. And it allows large group chat threats or channels where mm -hmm. study groups can actually share cases in a secure and compliant manner. Um, you know, at Colorado Surgical Arts, we have uh, a Denver Implant Academy thread with 103 dentists. Wow. And, you know, we talk about cases that were treatment planning and cases that are in progress and, and cases that are finished. And, and so everyone learns from each other and it's a very constructive uh, environment. Mm -hmm. Well, wow, that's fantastic. Those, yeah. Well, I was going to ask on the, on the uh, software side, um, does it, 
interface with the practice management softwares or is it sort of, how does that work? And, and can you use it with any practice management software? Yeah, so we have the ability to integrate with practice management softwares. We've done that in the past, but you know, there's dozens and dozens, probably hundreds of practice management softwares. And so to try to build APIs into all of those was a little bit cumbersome. Mm -hmm. So Dr. Talk just sits as a little communication portal on your desktop or on okay. your mobile device. All the notifications are synced. So it really is a cross-platform system where you can just drag, drop, send, and then drag, drop, and put it into your EMR. So it's right now it's not. I think it, I think there's ways for that to be even more efficient in the future. Sure. Well, it sounds way more efficient than email, right? <laughs> uh, which was also not integrated into the practice management software. And oh yes, we hear every day. Uh, well, when we have offices reach out to ask if we can do their dental billing, you would think that we would eventually get to the point where, oh, well, no, we have all the dental software that we need, but there are still new ones that are that are rolling out and some old ones that are that are lurking out there for sure. Um, I love the the piece around the uh, collaboration and the learning, you know, there's so much information on the internet. Now you read something and my, I'll joke with my husband, who's not a dentist, but just in general, he'll show me something on his phone or he'll mention something that's happening in the world. And I'm like, what news source did that come from? Right. So it's just because something's on the internet doesn't necessarily mean that it's accurate yet. I right. think in this secure platform, with individuals that you know and trust and and where you can really collaborate and what I what probably almost in a safer way. Uh, I see some doctors share things even in Facebook groups and it may not say anything about the patient, but they they can be a little bit brutal uh, with each other, right? It, it's you, you kind of risk yourself a little to put something out there that someone won't um you know what I'm saying, belittle what it is that you're trying to do. And it sounds like the environment that you've created here um, is, you know, kind of rules some of that out because you're, you actually have individuals that are willing to learn, uh, you know, and really willing to be helpful. Yeah. I just went to a, a course in Budapest with uh, Dr. Istvan Urban, which was a wonderful course, by the way. And uh, I met so many colleagues from all over the world and now we are on Doctor Talk, and we are able to share cases with each other and learn together, even after that education event. So it's it's just a it's a very powerful tool, and uh, you know it's, it's solved a lot of problems in our practice. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, so if if you are uh, listening to this, and let's say you're a, a business manager in a practice, or a CEO, or or dentist specialist, is there a demo? Uh, that they can do, or how can they find out more about Dr. Talk? Yeah, so I, you just can go to our website, uh, drtalk.com, drtalk.com, mm -hmm. um, and schedule a demo with our customer success team. And they'll train up your team and train up your colleagues. And and uh, it's, it's really fun to have streamlined communication. Uh, I, I just, it's just, solves so many problems day to day. And I, I, I guess the thing that I, um, that I really love most about it is that, um, there's no phone tag, like in dentistry, we play phone tag all the time and it's so inefficient. Mm -hmm. And so I can literally have answers to questions immediately. Uh, yeah. so yeah, drtalk.com and, and, uh, our customer success team is awesome. They'll get you all squared away. That sounds great. And it, it, you know, to your point with uh, whether you're the specialist or a general practitioner, that's, and you mentioned coming home at night, right. And having all of those messages when, when you're being most productive, you you're with a patient, right. And so right. this is a whole lot more, uh, not only efficient, uh, but it really does give you, I think from what you're saying, a better quality of life because you're able to uh, you know, not have things drop and answer things fairly quickly. I'd love for you to share before we, uh, you know, begin to wrap up a little bit more about the education component. Um, is there, so in addition to collaborating, are there educational articles out there? Are there courses? Um, what, what do you currently have and what's your vision for that? Well, I mean, 
you know, if you think about um, a communication tool, you know, that's not very exciting. I mean, there's lots of things out there, but I think what has really driven engagement on our platform is the educational content. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, for, for years I've done in-person events, um, spent a lot of money on venues and speakers. And uh, now what we're moving to is kind of a combination. I think we all enjoy some social interaction. You know, we're having a couple of events a year, but then we're able to kind of continue the conversation on a secure platform. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a mentor that can do case mentoring. So we, again, you know, we do treatment planning. Um, the, the architecture for Dr. Talk is built to be able to do continuing education, um, to do, uh, you know, webinars, videotape, or not, not webinars, but, um, excuse me, video, uh, education. We might have to. Yeah, that's fine. You can go back if you want and part. say the, ar the architecture is, and we can pick back up there. Yeah. So Dr. Talk is, is architectured to be able to, uh, provide continuing education. Uh, we haven't really built that out yet, but we are. We have some strategic partnerships right now with education companies, with some wonderful dental brands that are in the process of building those components out. So we're excited about where this is headed, and I think it will just drive more engagement between colleagues. I think when there's high value content in a in a in any given location that is uh, meaningful and productive you know, why wouldn't you want to be there? Absolutely. Absolutely. So it's a, you know, increased case acceptance, better care overall for the patient because, uh, and, and from what I found as a coach, especially, and you practice with a group, but especially if you practice solo, you're very isolated. It's not like you can walk down the hall and say, hey, uh, you know, like, let's just say, for example, physicians in a hospital, let's, would you take a look at this? What do you think? Uh, so it's really, you know, kind of breaking down uh, the barriers of the isolation and bringing you together in an app. I, I think it's brilliant. It's one of those uh, things, uh, Dr. Tom, where I think, wow, I wish I had invented that. Um, so I, I uh, am super excited about this and have been looking forward uh, to this session with you. Uh, so um, you guys have the information that he shared earlier, drtalk.com. Uh, you can also find the link uh, in the show notes and uh, I hope that you will definitely do a demo. Um, it makes me wish that I was a dentist, right? So that it would be something that I could use too. So um, thank you again. And are there any uh, uh, other messages or encouragement that you would want to give our audience before we wrap up? Well, I, I don't think so, but I thank you so much, Penny, for uh, just having a little conversation this morning. I, I think we both uh, have been trying to solve some very difficult problems in dentistry. And it's great to collaborate. Um, you know, I think I think a lot of dentists that are starting to, whether they're placing implants or restoring implants, you know, sometimes you feel like you're on an island and you you try you would like to have some somebody to reach out to. And I, I mm -hmm. think in a doc in the doctor talk community, we've got, you know, surgeons, we've got periodontists, prosthodontists who are willing to help. And and I I love when a when a restorative colleague calls and says, hey, I'm placing some of my own implants and I'm having these challenges and I'm able to help them. It, it just kind of gives them a lifeline. And mm -hmm. uh, and so it's a it's it's a it's a really great community um, that uh, is continuing to grow. Yeah. So. Well, it sounds amazing. Thank you for making the time to be with us. And uh, we look forward to seeing your progress on your journey. Thanks, Penny. Have a great day. All right. You too. The Dental MBA podcast is sponsored by eAssist Dental Solutions, a platform dedicated to helping dentists get paid faster and get paid more. Dental insurance billing services provided through the eAssist platform can relieve your dental insurance headaches, get your over 90 day insurance receivables near zero, and help you collect 100% of what you're rightfully owed by insurance companies. To learn more about how the eAssist platform can solve your revenue cycle management needs or to schedule a free consultation, please visit dentalbilling.com.